the Rising Suns Farm Maiden is next. It's a two and a half mile maiden chase. A smallish feel for this one. At the top we've got Crask End Avenue for Darren Thompson. Lost to Dancing for Derek Hinton. Publisher Rustling for David Robertson. Wardorf Project. Martin Leader. City Delight. Jim Murray. Photography Risk for Graham Clutterbuck. And Tight for Craig Beckwith. Sort of just seven this time. Called in and ready to go. And away they go. Crask End Avenue. Darren Thompson, the first one to show. They sorted themselves out through the first field. They've got 18 flights to take in this one. So, well, fences, sorry, it's a chase, isn't it? They've got 18 fences to get over, so quite a bit of jumping to be done. And um, photography risk has come through to take it up. Oh, I suppose that's a local horse, isn't it? Around Let's look at Foss Lass. Not sure how far away he is from Foss Lass, but he's probably closer than anybody else as they get over the second. And it leads by a bet. Six lengths or so, as usual. They're going about five or six clear as they get to this ditch. We'll safely over it. We lost for dancing just about showing second from the early leader Craskend Avenue on the inside as they take the fourth. And Waldorf Project and City Delight. The grey is publisher Rustlin and finally the back marker is tight for Craig Beckwith and the leader took a bit of a lunge at that one was lucky to stay on his feet. Photography risk. Continuing to lead then, despite that mistake from Waldorf Project in second. And Lord Stradance in his third. And Kraskind Avenue is fourth. And photography risk. It's going nicely in front. So with a six, the rest of them jumped it okay as well. With the publisher Russell in the grey, the back marker at this point. It's photography risk by six to Waldorf. But again, the leader took a bit of a dive at it and he continues jumping like that. And his look's going to run out with so many fences to take. Jumped that one much better though. Uh, and there's a four, there was a four at the back. It looked like something had gone, but just a glitch in the video. It was a mistake by Craskend Avenue, I think. I've seen it drop to the back. And the mistake that time was Jim Murray's City Delight. So the jumping's a bit haphazard so far as they pass the winning post with a circuit to go. And photography risk clear by six, but making mistakes. Tight has moved through into second. That one's been jumping nicely, and Bizarre was the only horse of, out of these that fell last week. Launched for Dancing is in third, and Waldorf Project fourth. The grey publisher Rustlin's moved into fifth on the outside, then Craskend Avenue and City Delight at the back. So, photography risk. Driven into this next fence, takes it nicely, they all jumped it well. Tight has moved into a much closer second now. He's only a couple of lengths behind the leader and it's a good four lengths clear of the rest of them, although Publisher Rustin's then moved up into third, trying to close the gap. Also, Craskend Avenue is trying to get closer as they get over that ditch, and there's a fall where Waldorf Project has gone. So, Waldorf Project hadn't made any mistakes prior to that, but it's crashed out there. And they're all safely over that next one. Waldorf Project, who is in fact more of a hurdle, was in today to try and get a mark, and that's backfired because we'll now get saddled with that ridiculous. 111 that you get if you're four, which makes absolutely no sense to me because you can be 10 lengths clear in the lead, heading for a rating of 140, and you get an 111, which is a bit of a bonus. Or well, you could be tailed off out the back, heading for a 90 and a place in the Hunters, and you end up falling and getting stuck with 111, which is what happened to quite a few horses last week. Anyway, run over about that as they come down towards the next photography risk is in the lead. Tight is in second, then Craskend Avenue is third. With City Delight and Publisher Rustlin. And Lost for Dancing is the back marker. As so they get over the 16th, there's two more to get there. Uh, get over. And Photography Risk is in the lead from Tight in second. Craskend Avenue is third as they get over that second last. And now Craskend Avenue comes to take it up. Craskend Avenue then is now in the lead from Photography Risk. 
trying to fight back in second over the final fence they go tight trying to get up the inside but it's a short run and Kraskend Avenue should take this one Kraskend Avenue wins it for Darren Thompson the photography is second and tight third from Bishop Rustling fourth and we've got round by the one Rusk End Avenue takes it for Darren Thompson. Photography Risk, who went pretty much all the way for Graham Griswold, ended up second. Publisher Rustling David Robertson, third. Tight for Graham Beckwith, was fourth. And City Delight for Jim Murray, was fifth.